Hi, this is Taylor Otwell, back with another Laravel screencast. In this screencast, I want to show you some of the awesome new features that are coming up in the Eloquent ORM. Eloquent is a really popular feature of Laravel and has been since the beginning. It's the best active record ORM in PHP, and there's been some major improvements in Laravel 4 that you're going to love. And even better, you can use Eloquent in uh, any project, not just your Laravel projects. So let's jump right in and take a look at what we've got. I've already defined a few models. Let's just start with our basic user model. Um, you can see this is pretty straightforward. I've got our table, our hidden, which I'll demonstrate uh, soon. I've got, and I've got a couple relationships here, which we'll look at uh, just the basic one first, just orders, which is a has many. So first to get started, let's just do some basic queries. I'll show you my table. I've got a basic users table set up here with just a couple users and a couple passwords that are hashed uh, with an unsalted hash, which you should never do. Always use the hash class available in Laravel. Okay, so let's jump right in and start querying this guy. Let's go back to our routes. We'll leave this open. And let's just grab this user. And I'm just going to var dump that user out so you can see this. Okay, let's hit that route. Okay, so you can see I've got my user object and it has the attributes just like you would expect and with our ID, email, and password. And uh, we can use this just like Laravel 3. I can just say user email and grab that email address. So you can see this is very much uh, you know, on the surface, you would use it the same way as you would in Laravel 3, so no major changes here. What I do want to show you is when you have uh, a new feature called Eloquent Collections, when you have multi-result sets. So let's grab all of our users. Uh, user all. Okay, so we have all of our users here. Now, Previously, this would just be a plain array. This would just be an array of user objects. But now, this is actually a eloquent collection object, which implements array access, array inter uh, arrayable, countable, iterator aggregate, JSONable. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, okay? Let me show you the power this gives you, having this as an, a collection object. One, you can still loop over it, just like you could an array. That's because it implements iterator aggregate, which is part of PHP. And we'll just var dump out user email here. Oh. User email. So we should see two email addresses here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, there's Taylor Otwell and uh, there's Michael's email address. And now um, let's take a look at what else we can do. Since this is an object, we have some extra methods here. As you can see, we can spin through it like normal. So, you know, you, nothing changes there. Let's just try returning users. What if we do this? Just return user all straight from your route, okay? Let's take a look. JSON, straight from the route. So I can just return an eloquent object or an eloquent collection, and automatically it will be converted to JSON. And notice something about these, they're missing the password. That's because the password was in our hidden array, so you're not going to return that from an API, which obviously you wouldn't want to do. Okay, so you can add other things to your hidden array too, something sensitive, you know, like a credit card number, something like that. So this is super easy to return JSON straight from a route over a single object or a collection. Let me show you how to do it from an object. Okay, we'll just return that user right there, user1. And you can see we got the JSON just like that. It couldn't be any easier to build these JSON APIs with Eloquent and Laravel 4. Okay, let me demonstrate another feature here. Let's grab our users again. Now let's uh, let's var dump users to array. Notice we can call method straight off this collection. Okay, take take a look at that syntax, and we'll go ahead and call it here. You can see we get the array form, including the hidden. So. You can easily convert your models to arrays. This also works. Uh, it will also load any relationships that have been loaded. So let's go ahead. I already have uh, the orders relationship defined. Let's go ahead and eager load uh, that relationship and do the two array and take a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to say user with orders get. I think this should work here. Give it a shot. And you can see 
that uh, I, in fact, do have an order here. One order, and it's, it's nesting a little too far. Uh, Michael doesn't have any order, so his is an empty array, just like you would expect. And uh, it's in our array. Let's go ahead and try it with the JSON. Okay, so we're just going to return that straight away. And you can see there's my order. Uh, I have one order, an Xbox 360. Everything's popular like normal. Michael has an empty order array, so everything is working amazingly smooth here. This is really great. Okay, let's go back to our routes. If you want to get the JSON just uh, in a variable, you can just say user all to JSON, something like that. I'll var dump that so you can see it. Um, but the to JSON method is what you would use there. See, I have a string of the JSON. So it couldn't be any easier. Now, some of you, if you're the hacker type, might already be thinking, that's great, but how can I have my own collections? I want to add my own methods. Okay, you can do that. Let's take a look at the model. The new collection method. All you need to do, come into your model, just overwrite that guy. Okay, you're going to get an array of models. You just return your custom collect or your custom collection for this model. Okay, and you're going to have your custom collection used throughout Eloquent. So, you want to add a few special awesome methods on there? Go ahead and do it. Okay, so there is Eloquent Collections, easy JSON returning from routes. You can just return Eloquent straight from your route. You couldn't see it on this demo, but it's actually setting the application JSON header and everything. So, everything is going to be really smooth for you, okay? Let's take a look at another new relationship type that's really interesting. It's called polymorphic relations, and it is used uh, via the morph many and morph one methods. Let's take a look at this user class again. This user can have history, okay? We're keeping a log of history, like when they log in, when they log out, uh, maybe they friend somebody. We're keeping a, a, law, a running history of everything they're doing. And we're using morph many to the history model, and we're calling it historable, okay? This will make sense in a minute. Let's just take a quick look at the history model. Table history, there's the historable method, and we're just saying morph to. This is the inverse of the relationship, and we don't have to specify any model here. Okay, so there's our user model with the history and morph many. Now let's come to order. We're doing the same thing on order, okay? They're going to share the model. Orders also have a running history of, let's just say, when they were uh, shipped out, when they were delivered, things like that. So we want to use a single history table to store history for both user, users and orders. Okay, and we're doing this using polymorphic relations. Now let's take a look at the history table in our database. Okay, I've already got a few that I'm just going to clear out here so we can get a fresh look at it. Okay, let's look at the structure. We have ID, historable ID, historable type, and event, which is just text of what happened, and then our timestamps. Now, this historable ID and historable type relate to the historable key we passed in here, okay? That's what that connects to. And what's going to happen here is the historable ID is going to be, for instance, the user ID or the order ID. And the historable type is going to be either user or order based on what type of history we're storing. That's how the ORM knows what to connect it to. Okay, so let me insert a record and you can see this a little more clearly. Okay, let's go back to our routes and let's grab a user. We can just say user history create. And I'm going to pass in uh, friended Dale. And we'll just return done here when we're done. Okay. So I'll let you take a look at that. We're just going to create a history entry for the user. Let's come in here and execute this route. Okay. We're done. Let's select the data. Now you can see this. User 1 is in historable ID. User is in historical type. The event is friended Dale. And then we have our timestamp set as you would expect. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for an order. Okay, so let's go ahead, grab an order. Okay, order history, and we'll call this event shipped. Okay, so we're going to say our order has shipped. Let's go ahead and run this. 
and we're done. Let's select our data. And there we have an entry for order. So we're storing order and user history in the same table. Shipped for our order. Historical type is order. Order ID 1 with our timestamp. So this is how we would expect. Now let's take a look at what how you access that. Okay, let's grab that user we uh, inserted history for. And we can just for each user history as history. And let's just var dump history event. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to dump out all the history for this user. Let's get rid of this done. Let's take a look at what we get. We should get one entry that says friended Dale here. And there it is, friended Dale. So it didn't pick up that order history. We're just, it knows the difference. It's smart enough to pick up just our user history. This couldn't be any easier to build these kind of polymorphic tables. Okay, and we can do also some interesting stuff here. Let's do... Uh, user with history get let's just return that okay I'll let you take a look at that we're eager loading the history for all users there's our JSON history is loaded it has everything we need friended Dale right there okay so you can even eager load these polymorphic relations now let me show you the inverse okay I'm gonna grab that user again whoops I'm going to spin through user history. Now I'm going to var dump history historable. Uh, let's just do two array here, okay? So we can take a look at it. Now what this is going to do is say get the historable target for this history entry. So this is either going to give me a user or an order depending on what type of history this is. This should give us the user array for the user uh, that the history belongs to. So we should see user one's array, okay? Let's take a look at that. And there it is, one with my email address. So you can see that relationships work both ways, just like any other relationship. They couldn't be any easier to use. It's going to let you build great uh, polymorphic uh, tables if that's what you need to do for your application. And that is some of the new features in Eloquent. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I think you'll get a lot of benefit from these uh, new amazing features.